I'm taking a cup of tea round to Tony. You'll notice there's only one cup. Now Tony and Tracy have had to go back to the UK. So it's just back to the two of us here now. So I'm going to take my Tony and a cup of tea. Ha <laughs> ha! Yes, you have been busy. Let me come around and have a look. Ah, see, look, up at that window thing there, there's a little doorway with a window. I've never seen that. Yeah. That's always been covered up with ivy. But then at some point they put that steel beam in there yes. and filled it in with cement. Well, That's not good, is it? No, see, uh, the beam that was across the top was rotted away. You see what's left in the wall. Oh, Okay. So yeah, that was like um, structural, but needed mending. Yeah. But why fill it in with cement uh, and a door? Obviously, it collapsed. Well, yeah. don't you remember there was all that wire mesh on those stairs the with the going. doorway? Because I think they must have had some sort of birds up there. It's like it's like birds getting in or birds getting out. Right. Okay. And I can see the, even on the barn, look, there's the decorative stonework yeah. that comes along underneath the roof. But when you get to this bit, it's not there anymore. So they've obviously taken that down, haven't they? They've put a plank of wood up the top there, is it? Mm. Or a piece of cement. Yeah. And some red bricks. It's not pretty. Yeah. So we have to decide what to do about that. Um, also, I noticed... When I was around here the other day, Tony, see that nasty dark stain down the wall there? Mm. Obviously, that piece of guttering that shoots across this way is not doing its job properly because it's obviously coming down that side as well. Yeah. So we need to look at that, don't we? Look at this. Such a difference. I love those huge stones on the corner of that wall there. Mm. That looks amazing. It's not a door, it's a window. I thought it might be a window because it looked very low even to be yeah. a doorway. Right, I'm it's just trying to climb over the things to get round. It's what, sorry? It's stone underneath. Right. Oh. Tony's talking about what we thought was a doorway here, which seems to be more like a window. But look at that big triangle thing on the top of it again. Keep coming across this, don't we? So, whatever that big square thing is. That one would. No, this big square thing here. Oh, I don't know what it is. This big, like, tank thing, or. It's been rendered over bricks. Yeah. It's not that old, then, is it? No. Can you actually see inside it now? Yeah. What's in it? Nothing at all. What, no, just. Look. Just bare earth, or lots of overgrown bits, or what? No, look. Right. Not sure I've got the correct footwear on for this. I've got my flip flops on. <laughs> Don't tell me off. Ooh. I'm using Tony's new ladder. Oh, I can't climb the ladder and film. Ooh. Ooh. It's just a lot of rubbish, isn't it? A lot of old ivy and dirt and leaves. It's absolutely massive. You could almost live in there. Right, I'm going up another rung. Once so I brave. Hey. A good angle from here, look. Oh, look at them roots growing out of the wall, though. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, that's intriguing, isn't it? Over that window there. Why would they build it like that? It's really got a lintel. Anyway, back to this pit thing. It's been rendered on the inside. Why would you do that? So it's sort of been lined. It's got to have been some form of tank then, surely. You see this concrete render, I can 
I'll show you with brickwork in a minute. And I can't see anything much at the back wall, although it doesn't actually connect to the wall, does it? There's a gap behind it. So it's some sort of storage thing, isn't it? Oil, maybe? They wouldn't have stored oil in it for vehicle or anything. Because we did, when we first came, there was a pump on the wall, wasn't there? On the other building. Like an old petrol pump. For paraffin, was it? Okay. Uh, we wanted them to leave it, but unfortunately that got lost in the translation because when we bought the house, they cleared a lot of things we wanted them to leave, including a lot of huge barrels. Anyway, there's two great big metal hooky things on the wall, but again, they're cemented in. There's one there hiding behind the ivy, and one over that side. So... I guess we'll never really know what this is for, but I would think it's probably some sort of water tank. Maybe. As you say, in case there was a fire or something. Roof, Pardon? It's not, a roof. It, it's not designed to have a roof because it's sort of curved on the top, isn't it? It's not a roof. No, there's no, there's nothing to show that it's ever been closed in at the top. There's no doorways or anything, is there? Right. Oh, I don't think we'll ever get to the bottom of that. Some sort of cistern for something. Not a well. Well, you wouldn't have a well in there anyway. You wouldn't be able to get to it, would you? Sorry, we seem a bit obsessed by wells. But yeah, anyway. Can't really see that much in here at all apart from lots more ivy and lots of bits of rubbish and leaves maybe Tony will find some treasure at the bottom when he gets there no, I'm coming down so yeah as you can see that's constructed out of bricks and then rendered over how long have they been using render tone and cement like up there Well, they used it in the 30s, didn't they? They built skyscrapers with it, didn't they? And steel and... So who knows how old that is. There's even some on this wall here, unfortunately. By the side of this old window. Oh, look! <laughs> now you've took the ivy down. Look, there was a bird's nest in there. Yeah. There's a little bird's nest in that little hole there. Must have been quite private when it was covered up with ivy. Quite safe. You can't get that bit on the roof then. Sorry? You can't get that last little bit on the roof then. No. That should die now though, shouldn't it? Yes. So it's got no roots feeding it. It should die. The bit on the riverside, we're going to have to wait. We finally got a delivery of the last pieces for the balcony this morning. So Tony is now assembling the last part of the balcony. And we ordered this several weeks before Christmas. The first part of it went missing. The second part of it got sent to Ireland by mistake. And now this is the third part. Well, at least it's finally got here. Oh, so that's your little spacer thing you've got there. That makes it easy, doesn't it? What's it? The little spacer thing. So. Yes.
So do you tack it first and then make sure it's straight and then... Yeah. Right, and then weld it. You're very precise. the last one yeah of this batch now you've got to make one more haven't you yeah okay put the top rail on oh yes the handrail okay now Tony the paint's not here we're gonna to have to paint this ourselves <laughs> never mind It's going to look amazing. Yeah. Oh, attention to detail. Right. Attention to detail. Is it heavy? Yeah. Fairly. Into your nose. Into your nose. <laughs> <laughs> ah, have you got to turn it over and do something, have you? Right. Well, oh, it is quite heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Oh. So you just got to get round the back now. you got to do now so show us just going along and finishing off the edges along so, the back yeah. 
Um, have you done the ones that were already on there or not? Yeah. Oh, okay. So just a few. Right. Oh, is it not far enough? It's not a very long lead, that is it? No. Um, should we move the table? Makes a lot of noise this thing, but it's actually it's not a lot of noise. I'm just standing next to it. Mm, clever stuff. Some of my subscribers have commented to say could they see some of the finished parts of the building Well there isn't really much that is finished yet And uh, we've we've been staying in the Jeep since the weather got cold We've been staying in the Jeep because it was the warmest part So it's got a few things in there because we're living in there Which wouldn't normally be in there but I'm going to show you around this bit because this bit's almost finished So this is the back doorway to the Jeep. There is a front door, but we don't tend to use that. But yeah, excuse any mess because we've got a lot more things in here than we would normally have. So this is the hallway. So this has been done for some time, but we did have a problem, which I showed in one of my earlier videos. We had a leak from the ballon tank which is in an upstairs room um, and it uh, leaked through the ceiling and we also had a leak on the back of the toilet so we had to deal with that so from here we've got we can go either side we've got rooms either side so on this side we've got a corner kitchen kitchenette and in there we've got a working oven which is another reason why we've been over this side We've got a working oven with a hood and a two ring um, cooker plate. Two ring hob, which is an induction hob. I'm not actually very keen on that. You know, you've seen me doing some cooking here. Um, obviously, we've got a sink. We've got a washing machine. We've got a freestanding fridge freezer in here we are we will be putting an under counter fridge in the corner there and taking this one out so we will have an under counter fridge with a nice compartment when we actually let it out as a sheet and then over that side we've got a kettle and toaster and we've got the window here we've just taken the christmas tree down from this one this looks out onto the square 
We've still got the Christmas lights tonight, but I'm pretty sure they'll be coming down in the next couple of days. Right. So there's quite a fair size room in here. Uh, forgive the fish because he's just staying in here temporarily. He doesn't live in here. Now we've got a big sofa here, which is actually a, a, a good size double um, put you up sofa, like a sofa bed. And we've got the wood burner. We've got the wood burner in here. And we've got some electric heating in here as well. So we've got electric heater in the hole there, which heats this room as well. We've got electric heater in the bedroom through there. I'll show you in a minute. And we usually have a dining room table here, but that's through the other side being my temporary office for the time being. And then we have a window that looks out onto the back courtyard, but you can't see anything out there. It's a bit dark, a bit dark at the moment. And then we've got this bathroom in here or shower room. This is where we had the leaks, so we've had to do a bit of work there. But it's all in good working order. Perfectly comfortable, decent sized shower we've got in here. And we've got a heated towel rail. So forgive the mismatching towels and things, as I say, we are actually using it at the moment. But yeah, it's all warm and toasty in this bit. Which is why we've overwintered in here. But this will be the first part that will be ready for renting out. We're going to section off a part of the garden, which we haven't done yet. And we've got a few little tweaks, a little tiny bit more touching up on the decorating and things to do. And then I need to equip it. So I need to put in pots and pans and crockery and cutlery and things so that we can rent it out. And then on the other side here, we have a huge bedroom. Obviously, we're currently using this ourselves. And this is the bedroom suite that we bought, this this Napoleonic style bed with this matching wardrobe. This, is, this won't be living in here. This will be replaced. But we will be having a double bed in here and then two single beds, which are being stored in here along with some other projects at the moment. So yeah, another huge big room in here. At the moment there's two doubles and this huge big wardrobe. And then some extra hanging space there. But this will be the first part of the building that we'll be able to rent out. So it'll be like a family room or, or a few friends sharing or a couple of couples maybe. So one can have the bedroom and one can have the lounge room. Anyway, that's where we are with this one. Now, this part of the building was already plasterboarded and already had new electrics. Didn't have the plumbing. We've had to do that ourselves. We've had to section off that part of the room for the bathroom. And it obviously didn't have any kitchen. So we've done all that ourselves. But it had the basic shell, so we've had to go with it. Unfortunately, it's not as oldy woldy French style as we would like the rest of the buildings to be. But it's perfectly comfortable and perfectly rentable. So that's why we've gone with it in this style. But we, we will be doing a lot more sort of French style in the other parts of the building. There you are, you wanted to see a little bit of the, some of the work that we've already done. Some of this was done when I stayed over here for the summer and Tony came back with the forwards. And then it was finished off towards the end of last year on a few visits. What's occurring in here? Ah, you're sorting some tools out? Yes. All right, I'm going to go see the river then. Tony's told me I need to come down and look at the river. Now we've had quite a lot of rain in the last 48 hours. So I'm suspecting that it's going to be high. Oh my. Oh, and it's definitely not going over the weir at the moment. It's 
still quite spring-like and mild, but we have had a fair bit of rain. It's a bit of a mixture at the moment of sun and showers. We've had a fair bit of wind as well overnight. Ooh, it's going really fast. Oh dear, how is it that high? Look. Oh, now, so this tree was stuck in the middle of the river the other day, so I think Tony's probably managed to drag that one out. Well, I filmed this the other day and we could see the bottom step. Tony removed the big lumps of timber that he'd pulled out so that they didn't float further down the river and it's a good job we did. Because now look at our bottom step. Well, let's just get an angle on the arches, the bridges. Right, as you can see it's getting closer to the top. I still have seen it higher than this. I've seen it cover these cover these bottom steps by my feet which would probably be at least another foot foot and a half but that's pretty high so it doesn't get any worse unless it'll be flooding our garden and probably the high street this part of the garden thankfully is lower than the house Yeah, that's a huge lump of tree that's come floating down the water. Actually quite peaceful. But yeah, maybe something's blocked up that weir again, or it's just the actual height of the water. That's when it begins to get a bit worrying, because normally it's taken away from our property off across the fields. That is travelling pretty fast. It's weird, isn't it? Eerily silent, yes. There's no water going that way at all, is it? That's a bit worrying. I've seen it higher. Yeah, me too. I've seen it up to those, covered the bottom of the steps there. Yeah, let's hope it does it again. Well, let's hope it doesn't. Let's hope it goes down. Oh, maybe. But I can't see that it's going to do that, but... Didn't do it last year, did it? In fact, it probably brought some. But where did this tree come from, Tone? Is my concern. What? This giant tree here, look. Oh, Have you not even noticed this? What? This giant tree here. Here. Where did that come from? It's come from over there. Yes. Oh, it's probably done as a favour. That's that wind. Yes. Yeah, but it isn't. How do we get that out of the water? Well, I'll start chopping it up from here and pull it out. Did you noticed how high the river was, but you didn't notice that the giant tree had fallen down across no, the river. I haven't noticed. <laughs> You're not very observant, are you, Tony? That's good, though. Well, actually, yeah, because it's um, not maintained over there, is it? No. And there's been a lot of dead trees and things hanging across that water. Maybe maybe when it gets a bit lower, we you we could get out in the kayak and get those bottom branches out of the way. Yeah. But this yeah. main tree was hanging yeah. over yeah. anyway. Yeah, as well. So, is this our responsibility? What? This tree there's that's no half landed in the so river. There's nobody else. It's, it's, well, no, well, no one else is going to deal with it, are they? Yeah. Well, they pulled that one out. I saw, uh, yeah, I was just thinking that you probably pulled that one out of the river. That was in the middle, wasn't it? Yeah. I can't believe you've told me to come and look at the river, but you didn't notice this giant tree. No. 
<laughs> anyway, so I said it was windy. It obviously was. There's going to be a lot more of that in the rest of that river there, Tone. I hate to think how much of it is actually still under the water, but we'll find out when the water goes down a little bit. Oh, another job for Tony's chainsaw. Oh, I think it's still going to get higher yet. Yes, it still hasn't finished raining. We've got a little bit more rain for the rest of the day. Actually, if you can see over into that part of the chateau grounds, it's flooded its way through. Um, there's a little hole in that wall of that that part over there. There's a hole in that side of the wall, and I can see. Try and zoom in. But yeah, I can see that the water is that side as well. back at the chateau. Tony's undoing all the fairy lights off of the balcony. Why is he doing that? Because he's about to remove the balcony so that he can replace it with a brand new one. Our wheels come out to help him. Do a bit more scrap metal for the scrap metal man. Right. It's only a twitter. <laughs> it's only a hammer, David. You are a wuss. Oh. I think Tony's finding it a bit more difficult than he was expecting to remove it. He'll work it out. Yeah. 
Absolutely. So can you explain to us what the problem is? That is a collar. That is a collar made of cast iron. Right. This is raw iron. Okay. And they've gone over the top, so the rainwater comes down, goes on top of the scooter and runs away. That's what they've right. done. But our problem is that those there go all the way through the concrete. Okay. And we have fit this is also metal. Okay. And it's attached to the uh, beams going around. You're filming this, aren't you? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why I asked you to explain it. Right, okay. <laughs> you explained it very well, though. Yeah, very good. Okay. <laughs> and. Yeah. And we'll straight back on the top of those. Okay. Because you've made feet, but now you don't need feet. Yeah, we'll chop our feet off. Yeah. Okay. So there's a solution, isn't there? No problems, any solutions. No problems, any solutions. Whose catchphrase is that? No Apart from yours. Okay. So how are we getting these down? What? How are you getting these down? Uh, um, um, we're getting the digger. Ah, it's good fun. Man of steel time. <laughs> <laughs> Now, is that gonna um is that embedded in the wall? Yeah. Oh right. That's heavy, isn't it? Right. Is that the same? Can you just give that little lift please, Jay? Um, is that going to leave a hole in the wall? Uh, it'll leave a hole. No, it won't. Yeah. We'll cover that up. Okay. So it will cover that up and if it doesn't, you'll fill it. Because obviously that stuff, this creppy stuff that they put on the walls. I don't know, it looks bad to me. <laughs> <laughs> ah, I can hear noises. What's that coming around the corner time? Wow, look at this! Big boys toys! Hey! That's it. You found it. Caldiv, find the treasure. We think this area might have been part of the original old fort. And there are walls around the, some parts of this pond. 